Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start to do my air brake system inspections. First, what we have to do, I'm gonna start it with my own safely. Start up with my seatbelt on, my, tracks and retro, my, tra my track and electro, my track, my track and brake supply, and I started rebuild my track to the maximum pressure, no more than 140. So I do it, do it right now. Okay. 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 Alright sir, my track is ready full to the maximum pressure. I'm gonna start it doing my uh, begin my first test, uh brake lead test. For so do my uh, first test, I gotta re-step. First step, I gotta turn on my tracks and put them back in on positions. Second step, I gotta pull my track in the low gear, and the third step, I'm gonna release tractor and parking brake. So I got it set up already. Sir, let me explain to what you do. I'm gonna press it and hold in my safety brake for one minute and we not lose more than four PSI and track and try the combination. So I do the test right now. When I'm pressing, I'm gonna wait for my needle to stabilize. My needle stabilizes at 90 PSI and my minute beginning right now. Okay, we pretend the minute is over. Sir, my pressure is, uh, my minute just passed already. My pressure is still the same pressure, 90 PSI. We don't lose more than four PSI and track and try the combination. It's a good successful test. Second test is gonna be the low pressure warning device alarm. Lie your alarm indicate we have a low pressure in the system between 55 and 75 PSI. So for do this test, I'm gonna pump in the low pressure in the system and wait for the light or the alarm. Sir, my alarm is show up. My pressure right now is uh, 65 PSI. It's a good test because it's between 55 and 75. So the third test is gonna bring my spring brake pop up test track and trailer brake activate between 20 and 45. So I'm gonna do the same thing, present and loose pressure in the system until I see the two brake the pop outs. I saw my track and trailer brake both activate and my pressure right now is at 30 PSI. It's a good test because it's between 20 and 45. Fourth test is gonna be my Govena Kara test. Uh, it should be done more than 140 PSI to be a normal test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my track electron and start to build one more time the engines. My track, my uh, Govena Kara test is 125 PSI because the needles are stopping now over 140 PSI. So it's, good, not, it's a normal test. Now I'm gonna do my Govena cutting test. It's gonna be, uh, my Govena cutting test is not less than 100 PSI to be a normal test. I'm gonna step on the brake one time to lose a five to 10 PSI and wait in 15 seconds till my needle starts to rebuild. If it doesn't start to rebuild, I'm gonna press it again. So I do the test right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, sir. I go in a cutting test, it's one of five because the needle here starts to be charged. My next test is gonna be my track parking brake test. For we'll do this test, I'm gonna release my uh, trailer parking brake. I'm gonna pull my track in a lot here and we try to move my track forwards. Hold my wheel, clear in the area. Sir, my uh, track parking brake is a good chest because when I try to move my track, my track is full. 
Now I, I do it a switch. I do it my trailer bracket brake right now, but I'm gonna leave my tractor brake and I'm gonna do it the same thing. Sir, my uh, trailer parking brake chest, if you get chest, you can want to try to move my trailer, my trailer the whole. Now I'm gonna do it my last test, it's gonna be my survey brake test. We do this test, I'm gonna release all the brakes. I'm gonna pull my track in the lodge here and we gotta move my track five miles per hour and my track is not going to the right or to the left. We'll do this test, I'm gonna read all the brakes. So I do it just way down. Right now, I put the brakes, hold the wheel, the brakes, with the neutral, curve, my uh, certain brake test is a good test because when I move my trap forward and apply my brakes, my trap is stop. It's not going to the right or to the left. With this, I conclude my air brake system inspection. I'm going to start doing my cabin inspection right now. I got my left side, I talked about my mirrors. My two mirrors that I probably want to do the track, it's not cracked, it's not broken. My mirrors are just with a trim, and I can see all the way back to the end of my trailer. Here's my headlight switch in here. They are probably one that to the track. It's not crack or broken. No beep for the city. High beam for the highway use only. My signal light right here. My signal light is switching here. They are probably one that not crack or broken. Right, they're working properly. And my left, they're working properly. And the back of my wheel, I have my uh, hustle light switching here. My emergency switch is red. They are properly mounted, not crack or broken. My two blinking lights are functioning properly. I have my electrical horn in my air, the two horn that are probably mounted, they start crack or broken. Electrical for the seat and the air is not rainbow short, the air for the have we use only. I got my oil pressure gauge, my oil pressure gauge that are probably mounted to the track, it's not crack, it's not broken. And the oil pressure between 35 and 75. Below I have my water temperature gauge, they are probably mounted to the track, and it's not crack or broken, needle functioning correctly, and uh, it should be not more than 250 degrees. Right here I have my battery multimeter, they are properly mounted, they're digital, they're functioning properly, it's not crack or broken. The bolt is between, the bolt is between uh, 12 and 14 volt. Here my uh, air, uh, my fuel gauge is properly mounted, not crack or broken, should be not less, be not less than a quarter fuel. Primary and secondary air pressure there, they are properly mounted, not crack or broken, should be not more than 140 psi. My R RPM and our pyramids of the bolt, they are properly mounted, it's not crack, it's not broken, near the functioning properly, it's not crack or broken. I have my truck and uh, notch and a trailer brake. The bolt that probably tight to get it is not crack or broken. Both there's no leaks. I have my uh, windshield that probably mounted to your track. It's not cracked, it's not broken. A little chip broken inside, but it's still in good conditions. My weather strip is not a little sticker or decals. Here's my weather strip around my glass and holding my glass properly. It's not weak, it's not short to allow water not to into the gap. My rubber blade and, and the wiper that probably mounted to the track is not cracked, it's not broken. Probably place a good pressure to my glass and we don't have this contact to make to the glass and my wiper is functioning correctly. This is my washer fluid and clean it up. And the passenger door underneath, I had a washer fluid and reservoir, they are properly mounted, they are properly caps, properly level, not cracked or broken and no leaks. I'm gonna show you when we step outside. I have my hidden the front and nuts, functioning properly, call in a in a call. Call in the hot is good. All the ball control is working properly and blow it out warm and cold air is good. I have a better electric computer ready for use in case any improved uses in case any emergency. Fighters tickets are properly mounted. It's a day and full, ready for use in case any emergency. I have my reflective channels in the back, fitted on the floor correctly, it's not crack or broken, probably got a red, but ready for use in case any emergency. Here's my last one, is my symbol. My symbol is not ripped, it's not torn, and unlocks and unlocks properly. With this, at conclusion, my academic inspection, please sir, step outside. I need to check my phone and real light.